Right, if you're flirting with your car, if you're messing your car, we do that sometimes. If you're gonna disconnect your battery, you will get a call from Land Rover tracking in control and say, Simon, someone's trying to steal your car. They've disconnected the battery, they're having it away. So if you are disconnecting the battery on your car, it's only polite to go onto your phone and you can put it your car in a mode using the in control app and we'll show you how to do that so that it's what they call service mode so this is what they have to do at the dealership it puts it in a sort of pseudo state where it won't set the alarm it won't be alarming the tracking company now there is actually a second reason why you might want to put it in service mode that we only found out ourselves the other day even though it does say it on the screen as you'll see is if you want to add keys an activity watch key, if you want to add an additional key to your Land Rover Defender, there are now ways of doing that. But one thing you have to do is to put your car in service mode before you attempt that, or it won't let the keyless module, the entry module sort of be open up. Right, so how do we do it? So on your phone, if you grab the white Land Rover remote, the black background one there is out of date. And you go onto the Land Rover remote, you can see there is collected, connected to my Land Rover 90. And what we need to do is we need to go onto the more down here. Okay. And you've got lots of settings here, but it's actually sort of hidden up here. It says vehicle settings. It's almost not obvious settings. Okay. And it's down here. You can see it there, service mode. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to set the service mode on. Now it comes up with this message and you can see it's telling you that, you know, your alarm will be deactivated. So you have to just X out of that message there. Okay, and then it will come up with another message and it says, okay, the service mode will be enabled until tomorrow at one o'clock. And we can just go apply, face ID, and it will take a while to just communicate with the service center. So my battery on my car, as we've stood and done this, is disconnected. So you don't need your car connected to do this. Although in theory, you should have done this before you disconnected your battery, but I did mine yesterday. So, um, right, I'll just wait for that. Service mode, updating. So it's, right, there you go. You see, it's just there. It says almost there. So it just takes a couple of minutes and it'll inform you when it's done. So it may just take a little bit of a while. We've only got one bar of signal, but we'll keep watching this all the time. You can see the time in the video. So it takes a couple of minutes, but I think to be honest, once you've done this, you're okay. But for the video, I'll just show you the final status message. And after a few minutes of patiently waiting, you will get a little nice message that, that said the service mode was enabled. Okay. There you go. It wasn't. Oh, I can't read. No, did it say it wasn't enabled? Yeah. Oh, did it say I'm having a nightmare? Maybe that's because I've disconnected the battery already. Maybe you need to do this before you disconnect the battery. That would be wise, wouldn't it? Yeah. Obviously, the backup battery is not good enough to do it. So when it says, um, so yeah, so I've got no service mode now. I mean, okay, yeah, just maybe we'll give it a go. There we go. So yeah, better luck with that. Yeah, and. Yeah, I'll go back to school and learn how to read. All right, good luck with that.